Press clashes were reported in Srinagar as Ashraf was also reporting after schools in the Kashmir Valley reopened after a week today. Fresh clashes broke out between the students and the police at the SP college. Even as no casualties were reported in the incident, the protesters were seen waving ISIS flags. And heavy stone planting was also reported between the security forces and the students. According to the sources, some uh, student protest uh, from college was stalled by police officials. As the situation got out of control, the cops had to use water cannons to disperse them. Remember, schools reopened in the valley after over a week today. The incident comes in at a time when Chief Minister Mahabur Mufti held talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi to discuss the deteriorating situation in the Kashmir Valley. On an episode which happened in Degree College, Pulwama, um, it is being inquired into, uh, uh, inquiry has been ordered and it is being inquired into who are our culprits will be uh, dealt according to law. So they were protesting against that uh, and we did allow the protests on Monday, then we thought to contain the protests, it is better to close down the colleges. We kept on monitoring. Schools were not co closed. Schools were functioning. High schools, uh, higher secondaries were functioning. For, uh, one or two days we closed the higher secondaries and the university was functioning. I'm sure today uh, my students will go back to their colleges. They understand that academics is very important for them. Ashraf and Gaurav uh, still with me. Let me go back to Ashraf uh, once again. Ashraf, uh, Schools have reopened after such a long time. There was this period of disturbance uh, for uh, you know months on end after the tensions at the border. Schools were not functioning. Hurriyat had a, 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 a call uh, uh, there. Now, what are these students protesting for? I mean, it just seems that a systematic protest is being done or at least being instigated so that it could be shown that there is a larger unrest in the valley. Probably, Ankit, whether the p people believe it or not, mainly the politicians, but it is the reality that the situation is worsening in the Kashmir Valley. Just now, as I am talking to you, we are listening the tear gas shell sounds in the another college, that is Amasin College, which is near to my location where I am currently. And uh, there is also the protest going on by the students. Some of the students can be provoked, but not at large scale as we are witnessing here on the roads. Mm -hmm. So that is why there is some kind of uh, anger among the youth, what the Chief Minister of the State, Mahbub Mufti, was mentioning in her statement at Delhi after meeting the Prime Minister uh, uh, Narendra Modi. But basically, we are seeing that after the halt of uh, one week, today when the colleges were reopened in the Kashmir Valley, we have seen once again the protesters and the stone pelting by the college students. That is something concerning for the authorities as well as for the security establishment. Okay. But as far as the concern you asked about why the students are protesting, basically the incident what the minister was mentioning happened on last Saturday on the 15th of April in, uh, uh, in, the, uh, by, uh, in the Pulwama Degree College where some uh, 54 students got injured in the police action. Now the, uh, the minister of the education has uh, ordered the probe and and okay. inquiry into the matter and appeal to the parents of the students and even students to uh, continue their academics but so far hmm. it is not uh, seems that uh, the uh, message and the request of the education minister has gone through the students that's right Ashraf to stay on with me uh, let me also bring in Gaurav Savant at this point of time Gaurav as Ashraf was mentioning no matter what the security forces are talking about the scenario whatever their assessment is there is a sense of anger at a time when uh, we are also hearing about uh, tension between the PDP BJP combined because of the way chief minister has been unable to you know uh, get, get the situation under control as far as the valley is concerned how do you see the way forward uh, the chief minister met the prime minister today as well so uh, the chief minister has met the prime minister she's also met the union home minister rajnath singh uh, what we now know is her efforts have to be to bring the situation under control uh, in the next 60 days uh, that's what sources are telling India today. Uh, law and order is her domain. The police, the CRPF all report to her. So uh, how do you bring the situation under control? Whether a political outreach is needed, uh, it's for the PDP, BJP government in the state to do that. Uh, if most uh, security forces are required and they will be, now that the Amarnath Yatra will begin uh, in June, there are three things. The Darbar shift from Jammu to Srinagar, uh, the summer unrest that is uh, expected, uh, and also the Amarnath Yatra. So right. additional security forces will also be provided. But it's for the chief minister, it's for her party uh, and the BJP in the state to reach out to people in Jammu and Kashmir and to tell them that stone pelting is not acceptable. Uh, and that is okay. point one, point two. 300 odd WhatsApp groups have now been shut down to ensure that 
we organize stone pelting does not take place. So right. there will be some stone pelting, but now ring leaders will be arrested. Stringent sections of law are likely to be applied, but that is okay. again for the state government to do. If that happens, they are hoping that the situation will come back to normal. And once it comes back to normal, will the dialogue process start? All right, uh, Gaurav, thank you so much. Uh, also, thanks to Ashraf uh, for joining us from Srinagar and giving us a perspective on this uh, story.